The Democratic Congressional Gun Control sit-in was for me a neurological roller coaster. <laughs> I wake up Thursday morning to the news of the sit-in and experience the tingling in something like my anterior insula and experience something like disgust. I'm like, hello, this is the 20th century, we would like our protest tactics back. But then, as I saw old John Lewis there on the floor, surrounded by a rainbow coalition, their willingness to discomfort only themselves moved me. I experienced an oxytocin-like rush of affection for them, and it made me more sympathetic to their cause. I started thinking, here's an example of non-violent, not even angry protest. And I had this surge of dopaminergic optimism. Martin Luther King must be looking down saying, this is my dream. I'm thinking this is a no-lose media event. They can sit there and meanwhile outside Angelina Jolie, Quentin Tarantino and all the stars will come out. Beyonce will do a concert in support of the congressional sit-in. And if Paul Ryan decides to get tough, could there be a more perfect image than to see old John Lewis drag from the house floor by the congressional police. But that didn't happen. After 24 hours, John Lewis et al. declared victory and walked out. I experienced a whooshing dopamine drop. I felt heartbroken in my eventual medial prefrontal cortex. I began to calculate the rightness and wrongness of what they had done, the kinds of compromises grown-ups have to make. I'm still working on that part. The great Stanford neuroscientist Dr. Robert Sapolsky says humans are distinguished from our ape cousins by our ability to maintain optimism, as in high levels of dopamine secretion, relative to events we do not expect to see during our lifetimes. I don't know if I will live to see an America where fewer assault weapons are in the hands of mentally ill people, but I'm dopaminergic about it. Was the 24-hour sit-in useful consciousness-raising political theater or just a blip in the news cycle? Love to know your opinion. In the meantime, I hope this is the best day of your life.